us on a walking tour, Cusco. Oh, with us are here, 26 people, I think. So this is uh, the Pasadamas, which is the sort of main square. It was the original Inca Cusco before the Spanish uh, invaded. Okay, so I need a bit of explanation about this place, and I think we have like 10 minutes to one to get to a part of this is one. Muy bien. First, all of us, we can observe the Catina de Cusco facing this big open area. This is the famous Plaza de Armas. But at the Inca times used to be a very important square where the Inca used to have important celebrations. But this square during the Inca times it wasn't like this big. It was bigger than this. Look at those colonial houses. Behind those colonial houses there is another square. So that square it was part of this Plaza de Armas. When the Spanish came and told you they did for the missions, they found around this square beautiful temples of Aramis. This is when the Spanish started to make that division. They destroyed part of those houses, they built the colonial houses, and also they divided the main square with that colonial houses <laughs> sat in the middle of this. And after they finished that, they started to look for a big area that they can build the first <coughs> cathedral in this summer. They were looking for that, that area in many places in Cusco, but at the end they chose the area of Kiswar Cancha. There was a big palace in here, this Warcancha. And it's exactly over that this Warcancha they built this cathedral of Cusco. And this cathedral of Cusco was built in approximately 94 years. Ah, because when they started to build, hmm, the money, no more, not enough money, then they again they get more money, other architects they started to change the plans again. So like that, like in 94 years. But let me tell you this cathedral of Cusco, it was built with the tears, the suffering and the sweating of Andean people. Of course, architects were Spanish, but Andean people were the ones who built this cathedral of Cusco. And the stones that we can have we can observe here part are from the buildings or the temples that you see here and also the main quarry was in Saksaiwaman. From that place the Spanish took the stones in order to build this cathedral of Cusco. And inside this cathedral, without any mistake, I can tell you that everything that shines in it, it's gold or silver. It's very rich, this cathedral of Cusco. If you have extra time in Cusco, one of the advices to visit this beautiful. It's like a pictorial museum, this place. It's beautiful. Many canvases and paintings that come from that famous Cusquenian school. And that's the cathedral. But when we observe this cathedral, look. Look at the... The towers are quite small. Actually, it's not really a perfect harmony between the building and the towers. You see, it? it's not a perfect proportion. It's because when the Spanish were still building this cathedral of Cusco, and the last architect who was a person to build the cathedral in, in Mexico, he was planning to build exactly with the same characteristic, with the same uh, towers, like a three, uh, three levels of that tower. But the, he didn't realize that we are living in a seismic area in this place. We have earthquakes and tremors in here. Per million per year we can have like a 8 or 10 tremors per year normally in this place. But in 1650, 64 years before they finished this cathedral of Cusco, when they were still building the towers, it's when we got a very strong earthquake to destroy part of this cathedral of Cusco. So that's why they decided to stop like that and not to finish the three levels of that tower of the That's why it looks quite different, not like the cathedral in Mexico. Now, look for front of us, on the right side, that's the Compañía de Jesús. Jesús. The company of the Jesuits. That's the church. It was built by the Jesuits. You know the Jesuits were banished from all the Spanish empire. So it's because also they were building that uh, church with a better hierarchy than the cathedral of the But still now, it's a nice place to visit the area. What else? Look at now all the colonial houses. 
when you observe the colonial houses you can recognize the red tiles on the roof you can observe that little balconies as well and also what you can observe what you can observe in these colonial houses it's quite similar when you go to a little town in Spain when there are Spanish people coming to here they feel like they are in one of that towns back in Spain yeah. that's why many people eh, confused with it so it looks like that because the colonial houses are like a big square and inside like a backyard hmm? always in the middle so similar characteristics that we have in this place Muy bien. any questions about the cathedral of Cusco or about this main square no have 10 minutes please have some photos we're gonna meet in 10 minutes here I'm gonna go just to get the money that we can pay the entrance for the temple of the time of the country. Just wait here.